All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to class. Let me turn this down a bit. So welcome to class. For those of you who haven't been to remote viewing before, remote viewing is a very natural ability, so we're here to practice it. You just follow along. I give you a number. You write the number down three times. Put a simpler gesture with it each time you write it down. And you just close your eyes, clear your mind, and tell me what you see. Images and shapes will appear in the darkness. Just type them out in chat in all caps. So I can differentiate them from regular chat. For those of you at home, you can write it out on a piece of paper, draw out what you see, and compare it with the images and our destination when we're done. Who have we got here tonight? We got a full house at the moment. We've got F Kitty. How you doing? Huh? Good to see you. Scotty boy, as always. Nice. Mary, good to see you. Pamela Jean, you're not blue. It will be soon. Let's see here. There we go. Made your brown eyes blue. Let's see. So far, yeah, Karen Lynn. Hi. <clears throat> 9 p.m. It's 11 here. Hi, Deborah. Good to see you. Oh, wow. Awesome. James Ortiz. All right. Nice. Okay. Take a moment. Do a smudge. Um, I'm going to light up a smudge stick. You can smudge with whatever you want. Hey, Lola. Good to see you. You're not blue either. Not to wait for your chat to move on. Let's see. No, just wants to hit that silly heart thing. That heart thing, I don't know. Anybody use it? make a comment there. Okay, I will. <clears throat> All right. So, <laughs> thank you, Scotty. First image of the evening is image B. 1275. You know the drill, write the number down three times, put a small similar gesture beside it, and just close your eyes, clear your mind, and tell me what you see. <laughs> You're quick tonight. Excellent. Hi, right, staff. Good to see you. Scotty had to talk about boobs last night all by himself. He wasn't all by himself. Everybody helped him. I'm sure he could have used your help. Hi, Deborah. Munich you blue too. How's the sound tonight? Are we okay? <clears throat> Could be stuff. I don't know. He was hitting them pretty hard. That's just boobs, buddy.
So again, we're on image B, 1276. Sorry, is that 75? 70, 75, yeah. 75. Can't highlight it here. I don't know if it's, uh, operating system. They could make it better. Yeah, I'll try refreshing and see if I like it. I don't think anybody else is having that. What? Background music can't be heavy. No way. Hi, Trey. Good to see you. Okay. Yeah, choppy. All right. Could be because I'm playing the music. See how that does. <clears throat> Is that any better? Sometimes the mu sometimes the music will interrupt my voice. Okay, get your last responses in. Let's see what we've got here. Scotty boys in first with four stars and three moons. Okay. Loretta, Cloud Mobile Duck. Hmm. <laughs> cloud Mobile Duck. Okay, maybe. I like it anyway. Um, feeling extra. Sound is great, says Scotty Boy, but then he says it's not. Shaking water. Oh, yeah, this guy would shake water, I bet. <clears throat> See, beam of light, long hair. Right position here. There we are. So he'd shake off a lot of water. I don't know what's going on here. Um, that bear should be eating that dog. Probably will in a couple of minutes. <laughs> beam of light, yeah. Oh, their hairs are they're just like light shafts. Long-haired cat, long-haired bear. Close enough, Mary. Something heaven-sent, angelic. Good evening, all. You would say that, Trey. Yeah, bear ripping apart a dog. <laughs> Splashing water. Okay, yeah. That's what polar bears do, definitely. An animal, says Pamela Jean. Yeah, okay. Good stuff, guys. Let's see. Do, do. An animal, Pamela Jean, yeah. A soaked animal, says Mary. <laughs> I see a lion's face in the background image now. Do you? Hmm. I saw golden white, says Karen Mann. Okay. Wet animal, that's cool. Okay. How's the sound now? Could be just the music was uh, buggering things up. Going out and back in fixed? Okay. How about now? <laughs> we'll mess with it a bit. 
Oh, close, yeah. Sound is okay. All right. It is, the video is a little bit glitchy on my end, though. I'm here to kind of skip the mic record almost. Sounds like little uh, crunches in it. Still good? Okay. <laughs> Well, you changed your mind on me the last time, Scotty Boy. I don't know if I can trust you. See, this video is That's weird. I have everything closed down. Let's see, I'll close down as much as I can here. Cauldrons. Oh, there's another Bruce Sees All video. I like his stuff. I love his images. It's got this cool one I'll show you. <laughs> okay, with reject. Nobody's rejected you. Just giving you shit. This one's cool. I like this image. Look at that, eh? <clears throat> Looks like blocks. It's not pixelation, though, he claims. Now, you can kind of see how it could be, but it, that entirely looks like it's just a bunch of buildings put together. Even the center there it looks like it's like a platform. Really neat image. Restart didn't help black on your end holy black screen black screen <laughs> okay i better start sharing uh that particular video <laughs> okay they were not fond of of uh, brucey's all stuff okay i get it Did you actually see the image, or did it just black screen when I put it up? <clears throat> I could try it again to see if it shut us down. Caught the last glimpse. Wow. Yeah, let me share that again, just to see what happens. I'm not playing the video, I'm just showing a still image. Let's see, did we go to black screen again? Here, we'll zoom in on it too. Look at that, eh? That is so cool. <laughs> okay. Did it do it again? Black screen, black screen. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh man. These these uh these algorithms are fun to play play with. <clears throat> It's hard to know what, uh, you know, they'll accept and what they won't, you know, you can't, uh, well, you can be a mind reader, but I, I can't be a computer reader, you know, I, I guess I could, but it's really difficult, you know. I saw it then, poof. <laughs> Pops up right before you pull it down. Okay. Every time I switch an action, so if you give it longer, it would just be an extreme lag. I think so. Let's give it a try. Okay, we'll give that a while. See, for me, it shows that I'm, I'm on the screen and showing the image. Back faster this time. Ah, okay. Maybe that was your energy. 
you guys projected your energy and fixed the problem. <clears throat> but this is one of the craters on the moon. Uh, picture taken of it by Bruce sees all. Looks entirely constructed. Looks like uh, block work. It's not pixelation because they go on different angles. You can see the different angles here as compared to like here. So it's not pixelation. Yeah, it doesn't seem natural, eh? No, the first one was a, a polar bear and a, a coyote or a, some type of a wolf or dog. Can't remember. Yeah, it look, does look like blocks. It, I think it's buildings, you know. But uh, yeah, there's what we had, stuff. Malamute, is that what that is? <clears throat> Cool. All right, let's uh, let's move along here. Seeing as they're allowing us to do a show. All right, our next image is image B twelve seventy six. <laughs> You're duck in the airspace. Oh yeah. There you go. Grinding wheel. Okay. Okay. This is image B, twelve seventy six. Hi, Diane. Been a long time. How you doing? It's good to see you. All 
on image B, 1276. No, I think it's on my end stuff. sure it's on my end here. Do it this way. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Good to see you. Much love to you, too. Okay, looks like most of you are in. Let's see here. Let's see, a pair of shoes, says Mary. Okay. James says circular seashell. Scotty Boy says diamonds, clubs, moon. I can't see what that is, Scotty Boy. St. Louis or Masonic? Hmm. Yeah, kind of Masonic in a way, I guess. A circle of patience, shaped like a Chinese jar or sunset. Here we are. It's an amazing picture. Somebody caught that at just the right moment. Look at the uh, waves crashing. Beautiful. <clears throat> Something that forms a point or a piece coming together to form. Okay. Definitely got the phallic symbol there. Uh, I don't know. It might be Masonic. You got the black and white, right? Connecting rods like linkages. And there's the fence there, and then, well, there's the lighthouse. Karen Lynn says three tiers of black on a healer from the old Norse. Okay, now he's got three black lines. An apricot colored water dripping from a gnarled tree branch. No leaves, craggy mountain, slate blue mooted, white ducks, says F. Kitty. Well, you got some of those elements in there. Mary says a plate or a braid 
something being tied up. Hmm. Aliens are contacting you? <laughs> Deborah Trudeau says baseball diamond shape. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely painted, but deliberate energy. Now two days in a row. Oh, okay. Uh, Diane, you probably don't have my other channel then. Let me uh, get that for you in a minute, okay? Um, James says, Pink Cadillac. I've been listening to Blue Springsteen. <laughs> okay. Globe entering an underground bunker. Oh, cool. Can't concentrate. Too noisy. Dolly. Hi. How you doing? Swirling circles again. Oh, no. Sound waves in front of a speaker. Definitely waves. Big waves. Noisy room, yeah, I, I do that myself. It's good practice uh, to, practice, to uh, meditate in noisy, noisy places. Adjustable wrench, that's a cool one. What was that, Macram? Oh, lots of stuff here I missed. Wispy things. Okay, Cuno's clouds beating down on cliff dwelling, nice. Wispy things coming to a point. Ceiling capped off in a dark, heavy hue. Floating balloon on a string. Hmm. Yeah, let me get you that... Uh, Alternate channel, Diane. I switched uh, channels to try to beat the algorithm a little while ago, and it didn't work. But I just kept broadcasting on here because most people got used to it. So put that, uh, sub up that, and uh, hopefully we'll see you much more often. Sometimes I broadcast from both, so that way I can uh, get more notifications out. Hopefully. <laughs> it doesn't usually work, but, uh, you know, we got to keep trying. Try what we can, you know. <clears throat> Hi, the ocean. <laughs> yeah, finally you found us, eh? I've been trying not to hide, but uh, already subbed to that one. Go figure. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. A lot of people don't get notifications. Dean never gets any. Package. Hopefully you guys are smudging. Take this moment to smudge to the uh, last image of your mind. Yeah, the notifications, I don't know. 
they haven't been very nice with me. Well, I'm glad you found us, Mary. I met a gray, his name was Gnarl. We offered him a beer and he didn't want it. Oh. Could have held on to it and pretended, you know. You probably need a third backup channel. Yeah, might not be a bad idea, F Kitty. Probably not. I don't know. How many channels do I need, right? Yeah, it was probably Bud Light. She was watching a show on Dolly Parton songs, how they were things that happened in her life. Oh, yeah. Rumble or Odyssey? I'm on, uh, I haven't figured out Odyssey yet. I'm on there, but. <clears throat> I don't like Rumble. It's too commercialized, I find. <coughs> Reading chess, where's the brain power in that? Well, some brain power, I guess. <laughs> All right, you guys smudged up? Our next image is image B, 1277. Again, write the number down three times, put a small symbol or gesture beside it, and close your eyes, clear your mind, and tell me what you see. Grace prefer coffee. I'll return in a moment. the same self-portrait on, on the thumbnail field. I don't know. I tried to. It didn't work. Um, I couldn't find the pick for uh, Odyssey that I had for this channel. If that's what you mean. Under 200 for the first. Wow, Scotty. You really need to relax. So again, Raj B, 1277. So, start drinking all the sodium vodka, diet vodka. <clears throat> I'm 
remember, please try not to read each other's responses as they may influence yours. <laughs> right, Pat <Pamela Jean? clears throat> Hey, Morgan, good to see you. <laughs> That's all right, Karen Lynn. Smooches. All right. Get your last responses in there. Let's see what we've got. Okay, a wheel with spokes, and each spoke has different area in life. Okay. Spokes. Yeah, okay. Not, not spooks. Spokes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dry prairie grass with little dried flowers at the edge, waving in wind, a field of dried tall grass. A stone dripping into the dark water. Hmm. So a field with water. Got a lot in there, F Kitty. Some of the elements, I think. Something round, says Pamela Jean. Looks like a fishing shack at sunset, says Deborah. Kind of does. A little bit. Look at that picture. That's a nice picture. Look at those towers. Those are cool. There's the spokes, the, all the uh, wires and all that running around. Let's see. There's the dark water. Let's see water, three layer, three stripes or levels. So the boats could be the levels or stripes and the land included. The path in the middle, that's the water, but that's fine. One side looked like a train, and an image on the other side is light colored. Yeah, there's your train. A box with a hinge lid. Interesting. A lot of mechanical-looking things in there. Those are all, all weird shapes. I like the towers in the back there. Look at that tower. It's really cool. It's a stone tower. I don't know where this is. Let's see. Giant Queen, three towers. Yeah, there's the towers. Um, a shining silver lake at her feet. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> Split down the middle. Yeah, the one uh, mast is right down the middle of the picture. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Diamond. Pattern tunnel. Hmm. 
interesting perception. Huh? A collage of seasons, summer, spring, winter, autumn. Hmm. A woman with fire coming out of her head, maybe a statue. Wow. Hi, Robert. Good to see you. That's the tower in the background. She's blasting fire at people. Yellow wheat or grain blue mountains. Okay. Cherry blossom trees. A lot of upright stuff people are seeing. A lot of things going up and down. Pluto leaving. I thought I thought I saw sunglasses reflecting on an image. Uh, so I'm going to say something reflecting, maybe sun-related or water-related stuff. Same color as the grass says I have kitty, stone. Saw the lifesaver. Oh, semicircle emanating. Let's see if you I missed a few. It always says half darkened F, uh, hashtag symbol. Oh, cool. Pointed cone shape under emanating energy, energy swirl around everywhere. Spring melt. I did miss quite a few. Jump me ahead. Round globe over diving platform. Okay. Caught up. So lots of upright uh, imagery. Some water imagery in there. It's Cape Cod. You think so? Okay. Could be. Guess you recognize some of the landmarks there. I don't. My parents went there. Uh, when I was young, went for a visit to Cape Cod. One of those places people like to visit. It's kind of a fishing village. Google geolocated the exact picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, James. Yeah, I thought uh, I got some of these the other day. Oh, there you are. Oh, you can't read it. So it's blue meanies from the fun guys. Paniolus uh, cyan ascensus. Interesting. Looked like yellow wavy. The upper half looked like it does. Yeah, the mountain range across the sky, the blue, the water. Nice. Oh, aren't these exciting? Oh, those are pretty. <clears throat> Here, let me show you these. These pretty guys. These are blue meanies. And that's what I was met with when I opened the package. Those are pretty. <laughs> oh my <laughs> so isn't that a pretty thing right? <laughs> well that would be uh that would be something there, Scotty boy. The sail is cone-shaped, yeah. <clears throat> those were so pretty. Look at those. I like it when they uh, when they hold their shape like that. It's just beautiful, eh? Take a look at these. Holy... Okay, there's a monster. I have tried. Um, I didn't do it the right way. I know I didn't, but uh, I actually have a kit. 
I have some se uh, several different spore uh, types. Let's take a taste. Interesting. Oh, is that where you go, Scotty boy? <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys are smudging at the moment. Getting our next image. Oh, got to do something here. These are unseparated. Oh, wow. Cool. What do mushrooms do? Well, it depends on how much you take. They just look moldy. Yeah, it depends on the shrooms, too. And how much you take. <laughs> um, people, uh, A lot of people take uh, mushrooms to get high on the weekend or have a you know, cool trip. You can take a couple grams and have a good time. You know, a gram or two. Or you can do stream and take uh, seven grams. <laughs> we go online for an hour or two. Um, you can take a few, you know, uh, an extreme amount, like seven grams, and have a possible spiritual journey of enlightenment. And you can also microdose uh, with them. You can uh, take small amounts uh, daily to help with anxiety, depression, and other negative uh, emotions. Hey, Tex Max, good to see you. Well, again, there, Tex, it just depends on how much you take, right? No, I've never seen crazy things on mushrooms. I get really happy, giggly. That's about it. <clears throat> Yeah, if you do the, good to do shrooms with a friend, like if you're going to do like a party amount, like a one or two gram amount. You know, do those with a friend and uh, have some fun. You'll have some giggles and some laughs. And again, it depends on what kind you take too. Mushroom T6 foot comedian squirrel, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
I saw the matrix last year on shrooms. Everything was connected by a non-grid. Cool. Seen crazy shit on acid? No, I did not. Acid just made me very hyper and, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I saw the lizards and turtles, I did when I looked above the Apache reservation at night. Huh. A really good friend, that is. Yeah. <sighs> I see crazy things even without shrooms. <clears throat> it's nice to be around water because to be too smooth of a ride, you'll get to swim. You'll forget to swim. Yeah. We were partying and then we kicked back ten minutes before we got to our destination for the night. It's a bit freaky. Hmm. Saw the diamonds like an Indian blanket. Okay. Life is much funnier on shrooms. Yeah, it's good. To, you know, they're they're assaulting us on a constant basis with uh, electricity tuned to cause negative emotions. So, you know, microdosing uh, really isn't a bad idea. Uh, we are at war. We have to use all of our weaponry available to us and defenses. And yeah, don't drive on shrooms ever. <laughs> but I don't know, I would suggest microdosing for a lot of people. It's a really good idea. Okay, our next image is image B, 1278. Hopefully that was distracting enough. Yeah, that's right, Deborah. <laughs> Laughter is great for the abs. Okay, image B, 1278. Need you to concentrate for a second, class. Try and see it through my eyes. <clears throat> Examining every detail of the picture. Hopefully you'll pick up on some of it. Well, there's a neat detail.
Right. <clears throat> Homemade tamales, nice. Now oh, you make me hungry. All right, let's see what you've got here. Get your responses in. Robert's in first, awesome. Looks like jelly beans falling from the sky in a bicycle. Interesting. Ah. Um, let's see. Scotty Boy's in next. Shaman's always takes second. <laughs> uh, fastest wheel. Hmm. Clouds that look like broccoli. Oh, okay. Something that lives, exists a long while. Hmm. Groups of white round splotches. Could be clouds. There's our image. It's a pretty image. So yeah, this this uh, would exist for a long while. Beautiful sunsets. The fastest wheel. <laughs> Imagine driving off the end of that. I, I thought it looked like a pyramid. It's like falling jelly beans. Okay. Big face protruding from the clouds. There's one with a, a big nose there. Does that look like a face kind of? Bowl of stew. Hmm. Never thought of seeing it like something like a bowl. Could be. Smells like roasting chilies on an old Spanish mission trail. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's the shoes, right? <laughs> Those stinky sandals. Something dark. Yep, definitely, Pamela Jean. That uh, walkway, boardwalk, is really dark. <clears throat> Vertical object with a 45-degree projection coming off. First impressions. Had a window and a tree in it. Hmm. I like that. The boardwalk's interesting. Vertical object, yeah. All those vertical lines, maybe. With a with the angle there, so kind of like a pyramid. Maybe. I don't know. F. Kitty says a golden belt with colorful stones. On a high rise with dark windows. Dog with long hair. Is that the golden belt right there, in the middle? There it is, big golden belt. Horizontal lines, definitely the ocean. Dolly says against a border wall. Okay, there is a there is a wall uh, there. See the posts? I was hoping somebody would get these two little towers in the background. They're way, way, way off there. Saw mountains and trees through fog. Yeah. In the background there. Uh, bird, tree, and a building. Let's see it maybe. I don't know. Somebody saw it as a bowl. Maybe as a nest too. I don't know. Tilting soldiers. Hmm. Maybe that's these guys all lined up. A cliff wall. You can see it as a cliff, yeah. A transparent. Uh, White transparent band. Yeah, the middle area there. Okay. Four of dice charging at me. <laughs> charging at me. Okay. Maybe that's the walkway coming at you in perspective. First thought. Looks like a pyramid to me. Yeah. 
sky is just hypnotic. I missed this one. Didn't get an impression of wood, but not enough. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Take a moment. Do a smudge. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One more image. And... Uh, this image will be a card. Yeah, it was an inter I like the pictures tonight. They're really cool. I like that sunset. So we'll do uh, a card. Trying to get Max on TV. <laughs> you want me big screen, do you? I don't know if that's a great idea. Maybe we'll give you the lion to look at. No, it's not the lion anymore. Now it's scenery. So we're missing our Lena tonight. But we'll use the cards she sent. Cards are fun. I get to do them too. I was way off last night. <laughs> I can't remember what the card was. I saw rods, and it was totally different. It was like King of uh, what was it? King of Cups. Yeah. Cards are hard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a, another smudge stick here. If you had a room with a smart TV, you would cast class on it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Giant screen. I love the sceneries in this in this video too. Yeah, I did. I showed up. Uh, yeah, it was on. I was on last night. Just didn't you didn't get a notification? Nineteen eighties dumb TV. Yeah, I don't even have a computer monitor anymore. I'm using my uh, TV. My computer monitor died. Uh, luckily, the TV I bought twenty years ago at Toshiba. It has a port for uh, a computer screen so your smart TV makes you feel stupid yeah I don't have a I, I do actually I think I do have a smart TV I'm sure it's spying on me I know it's spying on me. It mocks me at night. Shipping is free on Timu. What's Timu? Oh, yeah, laptop batteries are low cost. Hmm. We should do that with printer ink, right? Make printer ink low cost so that you don't spend as much as you spent on the printer.
kind of drift down the middle, don't they, Scotty boy? Okay, up next is card B1278. <laughs> Again, write the number down three times, put a small symbol or gesture beside it, and just close your eyes, clear your mind, <coughs> and tell me what you see. So this is tarot card B1278. saw what I saw. <laughs> we'll have to see if I'm right or not. So again, it's B1278. should only take you a second. Bell hit his head in the hospital. Oh. They also make ink so it dries faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a card. It's not an image. Well, it is an image, but it's different. Last was image B1278. This is card B1278. You can do 1279. That's fine. I know, Scotty boy, always causing trouble. <laughs> yeah, I got that too, D Ocean. Hmm, might be stuff. I don't know. I don't know what card it is myself, so we'll we'll all find out together. Have another little bit of mushroom here. I like this one. It's kind of like popcorn. I think I'd like it with butter. Mm, yeah. Remember, it's tarot card, guys. But describing the image you see is the best way to get to it. Fool fall out of tower there, stuff. I'm going to put in my guess. I feel like I'm completely off, but uh, let's see.
Okay, get your last responses in. Oh, yeah, kind of. Okay. I did see the, this image. I saw a dude facing that way. But uh, the rest of it, no. I thought he was holding a sword. Okay, let's see. So we have beam of light, horse haunches, armor stars, sky white flowers hill, king of swords, two of wands, guys, two of wands. The sun, says Karen Lynn. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? Steamship ahead, facing left. Me and the ocean got facing left. Yeah. Two of Pentacles with the two with the suit of two, two of wands. There we go. Mary. Bing, bing, bing. Mary gets it. Two of Pentacles or in the suit of two of wands. Nice, Mary. Orange glow in a gate ahead. Ten of Pentacles. Movie poster, big black wedge holding a pentacle. He's holding a world, though. He is holding something. So we'll give another bing bing for that. Moons, Ten of Pentacles. So you guys are getting some elements here. Landscape. Page of Swords. Totally wrong. A hooded figure. Hmm. Boats. Are there boats in the background? There's stuff in the background. Queen of Diamonds. Ten of Swords. Okay. Awesome. Good going, Mary. Awesome job, guys. You got a lot of the elements in there. He was holding an orb, a ball of some sort, representing the world, I guess. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's put it in another way. Decks are so big. <clears throat> sure, he was holding the probably the stick confused me. Yeah, I thought he was holding a sword. I don't know. Good going. Wonder if we pick the tarot card ourselves or what we see. Well, hopefully, it's for what you see. I think you, you nailed it right there, Mary. <laughs> Good job. Okay, take a moment, do a smudge. That's right, Steph. <laughs> I saw it, just not the wand. Yeah, I saw the I saw the right guy. He was wearing like that hat, <clears throat> and he was facing left, wearing a robe, but he was holding a sword. That's all. The only thing I really saw him that. Two of two of wands. Then it's gone now. Okay, Dolly. <clears throat>
You don't tend to see people? No? Eh. Just the impressions of them? My, uh, <clears throat> there it is. At some point, you have to take responsibility for your junk. Smudging time, yep. Up next is our destination. We're way late, but that's all right. All right, up next is our destination, 1279. Now, hopefully, Take a look myself. For another look.
Okay, good stuff. <clears throat> Give you another minute or two. Again, with destinations, please try and get at least three responses in. <clears throat> Usually a beginning, middle, and end to these things. Like trays in first. A recycling, kind of like plates going under over each other. Okay. James says a roped off path. <clears throat> Dolly, Dolly says plump pillars. Okay. Morgan says trip, uh, bridge, metal, a boat, and tower. Got nothing. Mountains and valleys and veins of the earth. Shellfish at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, they're doing awesome. This is the blue hole in Belize. Let's see, dark left, right later on the right. <clears throat> like that, James. Self shellfish at the bottom of the sea. So, what is this hole? How was it formed? What could be hidden inside? Maybe some shellfish. Two strong nipples? I don't think so. A Samuel a Samuel burger, like dark to the light, to the right, to the light. Okay. Hmm. Seeing into the forest. Kind of looks like a forest from above, doesn't it? Ring of fire. I like that, Mary. There is a ring around it. Branch or beam. Water and something floating or cruising. Maybe a boat, car, or cabin. A lot of water references. Like flame inside crystal and ember in the dark. Velvet violet. Nice. A framed entrance. <clears throat> Wait, rectangular entrance. It's a circular entrance, but it is framed. Nice. Vents like angular nostrils. Maybe it is nostrils. <clears throat> Snow-covered area. It's water, but... Different kind of water. Something sticking up. Oh, it's the river. Something sticking down. It's a big hole. Big old hole. But that ha often happens. We see the reverse. A horizontal line of dark water. Nice. A black circle. Stone steps in a line of prayer flags flapping in the wind. Sun over a load over a desert horizon okay um <clears throat> three maybe that two tutelar sea not lake in california it keeps filling and draining good one trey it's a big old hole <laughs> definitely traveling fast it's chaotic says uh, dolly <clears throat> Horizontal, maybe water, the ocean. Good one. Volcano and vulc or volcanic activity. I don't know what this was formed by, the ocean. They say it was a sinkhole, but I don't think they actually know. Let's see. Solar reflux, electric forces, atmospheric interference, radiation. Hmm. A place to sit in the cave. <laughs> In a cavern, 
diving in Daco style. That's a good one, Dolly. <clears throat> a road or path to? Oh, well, yeah, there is kind of a roadway to it. Almost a little island circling around it. wonder if somebody just stuck their thumb in the water there. Cliffs. Yeah, kind of like cliffs. It is a cliff, really. It goes straight down. Building with layers like an Oreo cookie. Just underwater, James. It's just layered underwater. The number four. Hmm. A big gravity wave moving across the sky with the wave reference. Cali, big Bahamas travel poster. It does look like one of those, Dolly. That's a good one. Um, light reflect, refracting. Oh, oh, jumped ahead on me. Light refracting. Light refractive and a sound as wave hits shields. Hmm. Some energy swirling like a tornado on its side. Something in the sky, triangular shaped. It does kind of have some interesting shape to that island. Trey says, uh, Shaco Canyon filling or moving. Glitz and power perched high above water. Hmm. Something to do with the sun and Earth's atmosphere, solar activity. To the center of the earth, vortex energy. There you go. <clears throat> Musical, the crystal stars spinning in silver and a beam. A cute cuddly animal on a string. <laughs> Man-eating geckos. A huge diamond spinning light. Ooh. Lost my vibe on that. Got distracted. <laughs> Got to change up your weekend program. Oh. I thought coral reef. I noticed the nice. You're in the sky. Hmm. It has the shapes I saw. Swing sickle. Yeah, it does look like a sickle there, Dolly. No disrespect, just asking. Are we tough? Are there tough Canadians? We're all tough. <laughs> Distant volcanic bubble. Lumberjack, Scotty boy, yeah. <laughs> the Lee's Barrier. I saw it from a bunch of angles. Cool. Skipped your last response? Oh, where was it? Some energy, yeah, I got that one. Some energy swirling uh, tornado on its side. That's a good one. Saw it from a bunch of angles, yeah. <clears throat> we might do some tomorrow, F Kitty. I don't really have anything prepared. Something big like a big hole being looked at. <laughs> big old hole. Everybody loves a big old hole. Saw the prow of the boat in this for a second. Yeah, the, the shape of that uh, island around it's really cool too. Hard to explain, but it explains itself. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we've got for tonight. I guess it was right after the... 
matrix geckos. Okay. All right, guys. That's all we've got for tonight. Have a dream of a hole. <laughs> Big old holes. All right. Keep your third eye open. Use your intelligence and your intuition. Till next time. Bye-bye.